वेलकम बैक टू वी एफ डी हैच बाय रोहित सो आई हैव बीन गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ इंक्वायरीज ऑन यशकावा स्क्रीन ऑफ योर वी एफ डी प्रोग्रामिंग वीडियोज सो आई डिसाइड टू फाइनली मेक वन सो वी हैव अवर यशकावा ए वन थाउजेंड एंड यशकावा जी ए सेवन हंड्रेड विद अस बोथ दीज वी एफ डीज आर कमिंग इन क्रेन सॉफ्टवेयर नाउ एंड बोथ दीज आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दीज सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद ए वन थाउजेंड एंड द सेम पैरामीटराइजेशन इज देयर जस्ट द यू आर ऑपरेटिंग डिस्प्ले एंड एवरीथिंग इज डिफरेंट फॉर जी ए सेवन हंड्रेड बट बेसिक प्रोग्रामिंग इज सेम सो वेन एवर यूल पावर अप ए वन थाउजेंड वी एफ डी यूल विद क्रेन सॉफ्टवेयर यूल गेट दिस अलार्म बी बी सो दिस इज फॉर अ बेस ब्लॉक दैट इज ऑलरेडी देयर इन द प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ द वी एफ डी सो वी कैन सिंपली चेक बाय गोइंग इन टू पैरामीटर ग्रुप सो गो टू पैरामीटर ग्रुप देन डायरेक्टली गो टू एच ग्रुप एच इज फॉर योर डिजिटल इनपुट सो एच वन जीरो एट वी हैव टू गो दिस इज द इनपुट दैट इज असाइन फॉर बेस ब्लॉक सो इट इज ऑन बेस ब्लॉक एंड वील हैव टू गो टू वी जस्ट हैव टू टर्न इट ऑफ सो वी हैव टर्न इट ऑफ एंड नाउ द अलार्म इज गॉन सो दिस इज योर वी एफ डी इज रेडिंग एंड हाउ टू चेक वेदर इट हैज क्रेन सॉफ्टवेयर और नॉट यू सिंपली गो टू मॉनिटरिंग इन मॉनिटरिंग वी हैव यू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव ग्रुप सो यू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव गिव्स यू द सॉफ्टवेयर नंबर ऑफ द वी एफ डी सो फाइव जीरो सेवन फाइव फाइव जीरो सेवन फाइव और फाइव जीरो सेवन फोर दीज आर द सॉफ्टवेयर वर्जन फॉर केन सॉफ्टवेयर इन ए वन थाउजेंड सो इफ इट इज इफ इफ इट विल बी अ नॉर्मल सॉफ्टवेयर वी एफ डी इट विल कम समथिंग अदर देन दिस लाइक वन जीरो टू फोर और वन जीरो वन नाइन इफ इट इज एन ऑल्ड सॉफ्टवेयर वर्जन सो यू कैन चेक दिस एंड वेरीफाई एंड वन अदर अनदर मैथड टू वेरीफाई इज जस्ट गो इन टू पैरामीटर ग्रुप्स एंड चेक इफ एस ग्रुप पैरामीटर्स आर देयर सो एस ग्रुप पैरामीटर्स आर नॉट देयर इन योर नॉर्मल सॉफ्टवेयर वी एफ डी दीज आर स्पेशल पैरामीटर्स ओनली अवेलेबल फॉर स्पेशल सॉफ्टवेयर वी एफ डीज लाइक इन दिस वन इन वी हैव क्रेन सॉफ्टवेयर सो इट इज अवेलेबल है सो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू स्टार्ट अप क्रेन सॉफ्टवेयर वी एफ डी एंड वट ऑल स्टेप्स वी हैव टू डू so the basic step to do before starting this up is doing the auto tuning so i have already made a video on auto tuning the link to the same is in the comments and you can directly right click uh, click on the top right of this video and uh, go to auto tuning videos so auto tuning you can perform and uh, auto tuning will give you uh, better results in uh, when it comes to crane software we have this rather i would say it is mandatory as far as crane software drives are considered or gish kava because to achieve uh, optimum results with crane software you have to do a rotational or retuning of your motor with the vfd then only uh, the all the parameterization and the safeties that are there in the crane software will come into function so i am assuming that you have done the crane software programming now i am going to show you the wiring and uh, you can achieve uh, you can uh, you can take up different types of wiring schemes and all so but i i have connected here simple scheme uh, we have uh, our common then we have your uh, let's say i am assuming this is a crane software so you connect your up command on the s1 terminal on the first terminal here so we have connected up command here up would give forward direction to your vfd then you connect your uh, down command on the uh, second terminal s2 you can just uh, check on the back of the vfd cover as well that uh, there are terminal inputs are there s1 s2 s3 so this row is s1 s2 s3 so on so forth and then we have sc and everything so you can refer this while doing the connection so you to connect up on up, up on uh, s1 and down on s2 thereafter you have to just check how you want to make the logic like if you have step commands or if you are giving increase decrease commands that you have to decide but on the s5 by default we have connected uh, our contactor feedback so this is your relay output in this relay uh, we have two options one is your ma mb mc and second option is m1 m2 so ma mb mc uh, the first relay is for fault fault uh, this this relay is for fault so we connect your if you want to give healthy signal or uh, uh, indication on the panel uh, panel door you can connect those here but on down is some more important one wherein m1 m2 is used these two terminals are used to uh, uh, hold or uh, uh, your brake contactor so brake contact brakes uh, thruster brake is connected on the motor when it comes to cranes so the cranes uh, thruster brake supply will go from here uh, your uh, it will go from a contactor auxiliary contactor and the contactor has to be powered up from here like contactors no will be powered up from here then only the supply will pass to brake so this uh, relay basically ensures your uh, safety of operation 
I will show you uh, a simple graph uh, here on the screen and let's see if, if it is visible for you guys I will try to uh, open it up for you so like uh, we have this is uh, this is the manual for our crane software this comes in hard copy as well I'm, I, I have it here so crane software uh, manual comes it's, it's different for your uh, normal hard copy manual of this a1000 so you uh, make sure that you have crane software manual with you whenever you are programming this so I this is the uh, as I was talking about this is the graph that I was talking to uh, talking to you guys about so this is the M1 M2 relay that we are talking of and this is your brake option and this is your uh, uh, feedback from the brake conductor which we have connected here on S5 this is just like currently we don't have a brake and conductor and everything but this is just to show you guys and uh, this is the output frequency so you will see uh, your uh, when we issue a run command your run command is given your frequency starts increasing but your brakes will open after a certain point of time after your torque uh, and all the prerequisites of it is uh, are achieved so we we give thresholds for torque uh, frequency and current once they are achieved then only your uh, brake will be opened and your uh, uh, vfd will start uh, your motor will start running this is to ensure the safety of the operation so this is what I'm just I'm trying to tell you. Uh, we can uh, do the theory part later on sometime. I'll make a separate video on it. Uh, like what are the old features and how it uh, benefits you when it comes to using this Java screen software. But talking about the practical of the stuff. So you do the auto tuning. You connect it like this, and then it's simply basically uh, just putting your parameters in that we have to do. So first we have to define. Uh, uh, Yashikawa's parameterization is uh, rather easy, you, um, most of your operators can do it if you have this video with you or you can just simply write them, uh, write, give them this parameter list on a piece of paper and they will be able to perform. So simply this is your display of the VFD, you use the up and down key to navigate through the menu. So we will press down and we will get to parameter. So we have to choose uh, like after you have done the con tuning and everything this will be set before tuning. So we have to choose the control mode. So we uh, generally go with, if you are not using encoder, you generally go with open loop. So A1020 defines open loop control mode. So do open loop, then you do, do auto tuning. And after doing auto tuning, what you have to do? We have to come back to B101. I'm supposing that uh, we are using uh, increase decrease command. So we don't have to change it, but you can even put it zero because we'll be using your terminals here. And uh, so this is this this defines the frequency reference of, of your VFD so like where the frequency command is going to come then B102 defines the run command it is again going to come from terminal so we have uh, selected one it is by default setting is one so this is going to be same then you define acceleration and deacceleration is default is 10 you put it around one or two seconds this can be adjusted as per your machine but uh, it's preferable you set in the range of one to two seconds or one to three seconds that that will uh, make it work well so after that uh, you go to uh, like you don't need to set much when it comes to your uh, speed increase decrease options because you can define your minimum speed and maximum speed maximum is 100 if you want to uh, define any minimum speed you can say let's say define 10 10 percent so that you can define Afterwards, if you have done the tuning, these parameters with E2 and E1 parameters will automatically come. And I am again sharing with you uh, that uh, I have made a separate video on auto tuning. You go and watch it because auto tuning is must before performing uh, these parameters, before feeding these parameters and uh, starting your hoist. After that, we don't have to do anything on F and simply we have to define where we have connected the wires. So 1 and 2 is our up and down, 3 and 4 is our uh, speed up down so we'll define 3 as 10 and we'll define 4 as 11 so this is what I'm going to do so 4 as 11 so we have done that so this is uh, all set and we can see h1 h201 is 21 that is for brake command so after that you put in some motor parameters like you check out l805 it should be 1 to uh, check the motor or input phase loads. So both are 1 it should be 1 that will help you so now we can see like our uh, we have uh, we have uh, achieved a position wherein our VFD is connected and uh, our parameter setting is done 
when I am going to give the run command, it will it is going to show SC2 alarm or SC1 alarm. So these alarms will keep on coming in Yashkawa. This is another uh, that as I was talking to you about, uh, as I was showing to you in the graph that the brake will open and it will go above uh, this threshold of brake only only when the torque requirements that are that are fed by us in the S1 parameter of this VFD has met. So S1 parameter is uh, there in the VFD. We can check here. We can define various thresholds like when should uh, what should be the brake frequency, what should be the frequency output frequency before opening the brake, what should be the current before braking opening the current and torque and everything we can define the in terms of percentage in the forward and both reverse direction. So now let's let's assume that we want to do a test and we don't have brake and everything still we want to perform a test so we can bypass this by simply going to H105 on which we have done 00, 0 and then uh, we put it off so after doing this we can simply try to start it again it will one second so we'll, so we'll we'll put one more one more thing we'll do we'll we'll have to power it off so yeah. so we'll go to parameters your s s group once again and we'll turn off the settings from the parameters as well uh, your S1, 16, 17, 18. 17. Uh, okay, let me let me do it all. 17. So yeah. So these 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 are your settings for uh, time detection settings for your SC1, SC2, SC3, SC4 folds, which makes your Scava screen software unique. So the, why this software is so unique, uh, we'll describe in this video again uh, in some another video. So I'll start now. Now you can see that uh, it is not tripping or anything. We can simply. Okay, I don't have a push button here, so that's why I, I guess this is not taking the command. But I'll show you. Your motor has started rotating, and we can turn the direction. So yeah, we can turn the direction. So right now, if you if you'll see when I'm give, uh, when I'm issuing a command, uh, there's a problem that your speed is not going uh, speed is not go, going above this three hertz. So this is what is uh, a bit of problem for us. So I'm going to show you if you come across th with this problem, you simply go to your H group parameters. Uh, so this is to turn off all your analog signals. So we'll we have three analog signals in this VFD. So S201 we can uh, like we can ST02 we can turn off then we do S2 uh, S306 and then we have to turn off S310 as well. So this this way by doing this we have uh, uh, basically turned off your A1 A2 A3 terminals of the VFD and uh, now we'll try once again if we are able to achieve it. So we are not there so we'll, let me try one more thing here let me do, go to s201 here and s201 will put uh, so this is not recommended uh, you don't have to do this well when you'll be doing it with the uh, machine so here you can see like i have i don't have a push button i have a toggle button so it is directly going to 60 we don't have a push button so it will take a push command from there and uh, you can then turn it off so this is tripping on over voltage because you know there is a lot of regeneration and as a, I just put one second as a, a deacceleration time now I'll show you with this simple uh, this is same seti setting we can do a step command as well so for making step command uh, like one if I turn on this one button it should go to 20 hertz or something like that so you go to H103 you put it 03 and then you go to H104 you put it 04 so now we'll be using uh, three uh, buttons basically uh, so one some other option must be uh, we have to turn it off because we have doubled down the setting so yeah so you have to make sure that there are uh, no two parameters can be same so I, there are already uh, three and four into default uh, other H15 and six so we have to just turn it on so now uh, we have selected s1 s2 as our first command s3 s4 our secondary command so we turn it on and then the reference will change for the vfd 
now we can go to d1 group so you simply go to d101 the first speed can be defined here so 10 if i'm putting 10 so whenever i'll give up and down command it will go to 10 hertz then i'll give uh, let's say 25 hertz here uh, so we have another uh, graph you can check uh, we can make uh, a combination of approximately 17 speeds by using all the terminals of the vfd so this is what i'm going to show you now so yeah i have turned it on so you'll see i have first started so frequency is 10 uh, you can check in the output frequency as well so it is going to 10 i've given the forward command now i'll turn on the s3 it is it has gone to 25 now sorry yeah. this we have started now i'll turn it off and i'll do this now it will go to 50 hertz directly so i'll turn it off i'll change the direction so it will change the direction uh, then again it is if you will see the difference is that it is showing in minus in the drive display you will see the reference is in minus we can turn it on it will go to minus 25 you can turn it down and you can put the other button down it will, it will go to minus 50. so this is simple like you can uh, simply do your speed commands and everything uh, just to uh, make sure that you do proper tuning and you connect the brakes and everything and some uh, a few instructions we have uh, disabled a few parameters here like s10 s1 16 17 18 19 you don't have to do that uh, while doing the actual programming on the hoist because we are only doing it because we don't have the actual break and the simulation of the crane over here in the factory also you don't have to change the default setting of s201 yeah but if you come across a problem wherein your frequency reference is not going above 3 hertz or 0.5 or something like that you try uh, turning off your S302, S306 and ST10 to achieve that uh, uh, to uh, go to higher frequency. So this is all for today. Uh, I hope this video will serve you in programming crane VFDs. If you come across any problems while doing it, uh, you please drop a comment in, the, in this video or you can reach out to me on my email ID as well. And I'll make, uh, keep on making uh, more such content and uh, request you to share and uh, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much guys.